I have 13 crepe myrtle trees. All of them have these big knots on them that the branches grow out of. I have sawed them off on several trees and they grow back. Do I keep cutting the knots off? I really would like to know before I put all this work in again. Thanks, Marie from Chattanooga, Tennessee. So Peter, <laughs> the big knots, uh, right? <laughs> uh, they crepe, keep growing, right? Crepe murder. Crepe murder. Crepe murder. <laughs> crepe murder. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so when you, whenever ah. you prune a tree or any other plant, you're saying, you know, you cut it here, you're saying grow from this point. Yeah, grow here, grow here. So what's happening is the crepe myrtle's <laughs> doing exactly what you're telling it to do. You're cutting it here and then it goes poof, mm -hmm. right there. And that turns into a big knot, especially if you go back and remove all those branches every year. The knots just keep getting bigger and bigger. Um, looking at the pictures, there's, those knots are always going to be there. Yeah. Seeing how big the branches are that you're cutting. Um, now, there is a way that you can get rid of the knots. It will take several years, uh, and what you do is every year you'll, you go in and cut off one of those big branches at the ground. Mm -hmm. um, the plant will respond by sending up suckers because all of a sudden it doesn't have all of the top growth to match the roots. Uh, pick one of those suckers or two of those suckers and let them grow. Um, the next year, go in, remove another one of the big branches right at the ground and let it be replaced by a sucker. And so over the course of four or five years, what you're gonna do is you're going to have the, the true form of the crepe myrtle without the knots, because you've removed those. But if you keep cutting, <laughs> if you keep cutting the stalks every year, mm. the knots are just gonna keep coming back and coming back. And they're so unsightly looking. It, it looks yeah. rough, it don't look good. You see that nice on there like that. No, it, I said, we, we don't recommend that you print a lot of print on crepe myrtle unless you just really need a problem or something, right. or your house or your roof or something like that. So mm -hmm. yeah. you don't have an ugly nice on there. Yeah. <laughs> unless they're in the way. In the way, yeah. yeah, I don't, yeah. And, and print it like a tree. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and so, you know, go in and if you don't want this branch, cut it off where it comes out of another branch. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, and you can go in and if you want to, uh, in the winter, you can go in and tip all of the branches and remove mm -hmm. the seed pods. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, think of it as a tree, not as a shrub. Yeah, limb them up and over. Over, yeah. All right, back to a main branch. Yeah, right. A stem. Mm -hmm. That's what you should do. We hope you loved the video. We would love for you to ask more questions. Be sure to leave those questions in your comments.